Stinger or Burner. Stinger or Burner is a common transient injury that occurs in contact sports such as football. It is a transient unilateral brachial plexus neuropraxia and it is usually mild. It occurs due to compression, traction, or direct blow to the brachial plexus. The upper trunk, C5, C6, is usually affected. The muscles usually affected are the biceps and the deltoid. The patient will complain of burning pain, parathesia, numbness, and weakness, with the painful symptoms starting above the shoulder and going down the arm. It is really a sharp burning of the involved side, with full pain-free range of motion of the cervical spine. The symptoms will start immediately after the trauma occurs, and it usually lasts several minutes and usually resolve themselves. It is a transient neuropraxia of the brachial plexus. It is not a spinal cord injury, and it is not transient quadriplegia. It is really a unilateral prosthesia and tingling in the arm that resolve quickly in minutes, and the cervical spine range of motion is okay. The unilateral weakness will be in the deltoid and the biceps. When can the athlete return to play? When there is complete resolution of symptoms and normal strength and range of motion of the cervical spine and the patient will have full sensation. When do you want to dig deeper and study the patient more? If the episode lasts longer, if it is bilateral, if it affects the lower extremity, if the patient has neurological deficit, or the condition is recurrent. So you get an X-ray and you get an MRI and you probably will get EMG. You get the X-rays to rule out a fracture or canal stenosis. The MRI will rule out disc herniation, cervical stenosis, or rule out spinal cord injury. If the symptoms last more than three weeks, then you get EMG, and you probably will find brachial plexus or peripheral nerve abnormality. If the patient has one stinger, that will increase the risk for the patient three times to have another one. In patients with burner that have recurrent symptoms or people with recurrent burners, they should be worked up for cervical canal stenosis and foraminal stenosis because there is an increased risk of injury. The treatment of stinger is to remove the player from competition and rest the arm until the symptoms resolve. If it is the first stinger, then the athlete can return to play when the symptoms resolve. What if it is not the first stinger? Then the athlete can return to play when the symptoms completely resolve if the athlete had less than three previous stingers that last less than 24 hours. The athlete may need further testing if the symptoms last longer than 24 hours or there have been more than three previous stingers. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.